Hey guys, how you doing? Check this out. It's Andy Elliott. I'm going to show you how to put a car on Facebook and literally sell it in less than an hour. And I want to share this with you. Facebook is free, which means it costs you no money, literally zero expense. How many cars a day could you post on Facebook? As many as you want. Okay, I have guys in dealerships right now that I train all across the nation that are selling 20 to 30 cars a month off Facebook. I want you to understand this. Zero expense. The only thing that you have to pay for is doing the work. Okay, so as I start here, it's real simple. Make a Facebook account, okay? I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna show you how to write the ad and I want you to watch the full video because at the end, I'm gonna show you a neat little trick that is so freaking cool and that will allow leads to push your way all day long. There's lots of ways that uh, Facebook can handicap you and there's lots of ways that you can kill it on Facebook. But because I train so many people in so many stores that are dominating it, we literally have the answers to the test how to kill it. So if you don't want to waste your time posting a car that's not going to sell, watch what I'm about to do and you will see how you will kill it. Okay? So if you want to increase your sales by double and not spend any money, this is the answer. So I'm going to post a car for Gion, one of our sales guys that works over at one of the stores that I train, uh, Seth Waddley Jeep Chrysler. So watch this. I'm going to go here to sell something. This is your normal Facebook Marketplace page. There's a little box here that says sell something. You see it? It's real simple. We're going to click it. It says, what are you listing? We're going to go to vehicle for sell. Click it. All right, so check this out. At the, vehicle, at the top, it says vehicle. Uh, we're going to go to car or truck. All right, and then it says um, identification number here. I don't ever put the VIN number on my listings, so just scroll under that. All right, so year, the car we're going to post is going to be a 2011 Honda Accord. Guys, this is too easy. All right, so check this out. We're going to have, this is a EXL coupe two-door, and then you got the body type, which would be a coupe. All right, so check this out. This right here is the mileage. You have to put the mileage in, but I want you to understand something. In your ad writing, this 11 Honda Accord EXL V6 has 133,000 miles, but wait till I write the ad. Copywriting and ad writing is everything. If you're not great at writing ads, you will be after this video, especially for Facebook. And Facebook also has an algorithm that they pull keywords on. I'm gonna show you how to put some keywords in here to allow Facebook to put you in front of more searches so your car is seen more. Also, at the very end of the video, I'm gonna tell you, if you want Facebook to serve every car you post to everybody on the market, I am gonna give you a secret that you can do that Facebook will literally put you into 10x more people, put you in front of them because of one simple little button you'll click. All right, so check this out. Fuel type, I'm gonna go to gas. And I know this right here is kind of boring, but I wanna walk through this. So in case you don't know how to do this, you know now. Um, this vehicle, it's in excellent condition. So I'm gonna put excellent, and we got exterior color here. This is a blue car, real simple. And then you go to interior, it's gonna be black. All right. See where it says business details optional? I want you to understand something. When you post a car on Facebook Marketplace, it will not allow you to put your phone number on the ad unless you do one of two things. One is gonna be right here with the business detail page. Let me explain what I mean here. So we're gonna click on this business detail page here, right? And notice what I've put here. It says, Build trust by adding business details. People will see them when they view your listings, okay, on their mobile services. Watch this. So it asks here, what is the company name? You know what I put? I put G on, okay? That is the salesman I'm posting this for. Okay, now notice, it allows me to put the phone number in this little box if I post it as a business, okay? That way your number will post on the ad. Now, you do have to put your address right here, okay? And watch what I could put. I could put Gion. Um, I could put...
Gion Professional Salesman. We'll say that's what the business is called. I put the, deal, I put the dealership address here, and then down here in the business description, right? I could put something here like this. Like um, I could put professional salesperson. And that's pretty much my business detail page. This right here allows Facebook to actually send your phone number on the ad. It's a way to go. So are you a business? No, but Facebook just recognizes that it's gonna tell the customer that that's the name of your business so that if the customer wants to reach out, they see right here, Gion Professional Salesman. They're like, boom, obviously it's a car for sale. That makes sense. Then when they call you, you can tell them physically where you work, but treat yourself as your own business. Okay, so after that's done, I'm gonna go down here and watch this. It tells us right here kind of like, private party value, Kelly Blue Book, all this stuff. You see this price deal? I'm gonna put a price right here, okay? The price on this car is $7,900, okay? And down here, it says describe your item, right under that, it says optional. You definitely want to describe your item, but here's what I want you to do. Do it in three to four sentences max. No more, okay? So let's make it, listen, just, uh, on Craigslist, I write lengthy descriptions, okay? On Facebook, three to four sentences. People are browsing and scrolling for cars. Now look, on Craigslist, I'll put, when I go to the pictures, I'll put like, text me, call me on the pictures. Guess what? If you do that on, Craig, on, on Facebook, it will blacklist your ad. You cannot put anything on the pictures. It just needs to be the picture by itself. Your phone number can be here in the business end, okay? And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all said and done. Okay, so I'm gonna describe it. I'm gonna put this is a gorgeous, well, if I knew how to spell gorgeous, hard loaded 2011, and, uh, now stay with me here because look, after I write this little quick four sentence ad, I'm gonna show you what you can click that will allow Facebook to serve your ad to everyone, okay? That's gonna be the last step. This is a gorgeous hard load 2011 Honda um, Accord EXL Coupe that just came in and is like new. Cool, there's one sentence. All right, going to the next. It's hard loaded with premium leather, sunroof, and tons more. Look, that's short and sweet, right? Okay, this car is priced at a steal, and Hondas are known to run run forever. And then I'm going to put, so even it, so even though it only has, or I put, even though it has 133K miles, and I'll put, it drives, watch this guys, like it has 50,000 miles on it. Bam, nice and sweet. Watch this call or we can put text right call or text me at now watch this watch how i put the phone number in i want you to understand this when i die when i put the number seven eight six okay three four watch this do not put the number o put the letter zero okay watch this you see zero? There's the, there's the letter O. I'm gonna put zero. You see that big zero? That zero will actually allow Facebook to not decode that there's a phone number in the ad. That is how we get around it. Because if Facebook sees that you have a phone number in your ad, it will show you that your ad is active, but honestly, send it to a friend and they'll try to pull it up and it won't be active. They can't find it. It'll, it, it, watch this. Anytime you send a link to someone else, it will say redirected if, if Facebook doesn't want to show anybody that ad. So change this to a O 
and not a zero. Like O as in like, if I was gonna spell operation, that would be the letter O, not the number zero, cool? And if you don't have a zero in your phone number, do me a favor, take and spell out, like let's just say you didn't have a zero, right? His number is this. Let's say that I didn't have a zero. At the end, I may put, I may spell seven. You see what I'm saying? So it actually says eight, uh, seven, eight, six, three, four, zero, oh, five, six, eight, seven. I actually spell out seven so it doesn't identify it as a phone number. Okay, but I'm just sharing with you that you're going to get the number here and you're going to get the number here, but it won't allow you to put everybody on marketplace. They, Facebook's want you to DM back and forth. Okay, we just got around that. And this right here is going to allow leads to funnel in and it's free guys. And people are everywhere on Facebook. They're on marketplace. They're scrolling on their lunch breaks. They're looking all day long and it's one of the hottest ways to sell a car and it's free. All right, here at the end, you see where it says photos? I'm just gonna start pulling some pictures of this car I've got saved here. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna put these pictures in here. And once I get them, you can tell they're all uploading. All right, check this out. I got all the pictures. Hey guys, oh, by the way, on Facebook, six to seven pictures max. You don't need to put too many in there, okay? I'm gonna go to next. And then look, I wanna share this with you. You can go to groups that are all around your area that have cars for sale groups, and you can ask to be invited into them. And basically what it is, is that now I could click, see what it says, Dallas used cars and trucks for sale, Oklahoma sell trading post, cars for sale in Oklahoma, Oklahoma sales. You see how it says here, it's gonna to go to marketplace. You can also click all the groups that you asked to be invited to, and it will pull them up. So now when you post it, guess what? It goes to marketplace for all to view, but also it goes in there, okay? Now watch this. You see this ad? Pretty simple. 2011 Honda Accord EXL V6 Coupe. Check this out. $7,900 about this vehicle. It's got the miles. It's got the interior. It's excellent condition. Do you see this right here where it says more? Look at that. This is a gorgeous Honda um, hard-loaded 2011 Accord EXL that just came in. It's like new. It's hard-loaded with premium wheels, leather, sunroof, much more. This car is priced at a steal, and Hondas are known to run forever. So even though it's only got 133,000 miles, it drives like it's got 50,000. Call or text me. Guys, we just put the phone number on the ad, and guess what? Facebook doesn't let you do that. Now you can do it. All right. What did I tell you that I would show you at the end that would make a huge difference on the way that Facebook serves all of your cars to more people? So Facebook wants to put people that are selling stuff on Facebook in front of more people on Facebook. So if you post stuff on Facebook, whenever you sell it, when you're done, you see right here this little mark as sold? You see that? This mark is sold box right here is very crucial. When I click mark is sold here, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Okay. You see this right here. You see how it's got all the cars that we posted. Well, when I go to this car, it says mark is sold. If I put mark is sold, watch what it's going to pull. Did you sell this item? And it's asking a question sold on Facebook sold elsewhere. No, it hasn't sold, and I'd rather not answer. You have four things to answer here. Let me share this with you. Facebook has an algorithm, and they have something that's called a sell statistic. And what happens is that if you sell something on Facebook, and you click, yes, I sold this on Facebook, Facebook recognizes that you're posting stuff on Facebook that's selling on Facebook, and they love it. So the next time you post something, they will serve your cars to more people because they know the stuff that you're putting on Facebook is selling on Facebook. And how do they know that? Because you told them right here in this little box. I wanna tell you something. If you put yes sold elsewhere, you will not be served to more. I don't care whether you've sold it to, more, to, to somewhere else or haven't. 
Every time you take a car off Facebook, click, yes, I sold it on Facebook. And now Facebook views you as someone who's doing a great job posting stuff on Facebook and that their Facebook customers are selling on Facebook. Guys, I hope you love this video. Give me a thumbs up. Check this out. Get out there today. Take some great pictures. Write some great ads. Put 10 cars on Facebook a day, every day, and you will sell 10 to 15 more cars a month. Guys, have a blessed day. Talk to you soon.